hey youtube wagwan welcome back to the channel today we're gonna go ahead and replace the oil and reset the oil light our maintenance on the chevy impala so if your impala look like this don't matter what year it is and you have the 3.5 to have the v6 it's gonna be the same procedure of changing the oil and resetting the oil light so let's go ahead and re raise the car up i'm gonna raise the car up some more the oil it used 5w30 say it right here and the cap go ahead rem remove the cap and this help the oil to flow out more easy and that's about it if you remove it you remove it if you don't you don't So this will be your, your transmission, this will be your engine, your engine gonna be close to your passenger side and another way to locate your engine from underneath is the exhaust, so anywhere the exhaust run to, that's your engine. So your oil filter will be up there, that's it right there and your drain plug will be this right here. We're gonna go ahead and replace the we're gonna go ahead and drain the oil out so now we're gonna remove the drain plug 15 millimeter what I use a 15 millimeter link will be in the description for the tool and also guys this time will be a nice time to check your washer if it's good you replace it if it's not good um, if it's not good you replace it if it's good you can reuse it but the next time you do your oil change make sure you order another washer this is the washer right here you can take it out on and off install it while the oil drain and you can see right there next we're gonna move to the filter after the oil finish draining out so guys we got this tightened up that's 15 millimeter like I said in the beginning and now we want to come right here and get the filter put this one so tight but it's coming loose guys let's see if I can turn it with my hand no I gotta turn it some more with this door right here Somebody really put this on. So now we get it. Take your time, screw it out. Make sure you have something underneath to catch the oil. Because it will drain oil once you. Okay. 
so you want to get your new oil filter get some oil rub around the ring and install it and once the rubber make contact with the surface you want to make a full a three quarter to a full turn so I make contact so I'm gonna try to make a full turn if not I make three quarter of a turn so once you're done with below you're gonna come on top and start adding oil to the vehicle so you want to add five quart and then check it to make sure you pull it out wipe it off then you pull it out one more time this look like it could take another quart so I add five already, so this is gonna make six quart. So guys, six quart is what it takes. So once you put six quart, it's gonna be at the level. You're gonna go on the inside of the vehicle and start it we're starting it just so the we're starting it just so the the oil um the oil can circulate throughout the engine and while we are doing that we're gonna go ahead and use these keys to reset the the oil life right so we're gonna uh, how you do this again when you press this way to bring out that menu scroll down to Info and then once you there you wanna press and hold it. Once you press and hold this, it's gonna reset the oil light, the oil life, and that's it guys. And then you wanna cut the car off. Let it sit for two let it sit for two minutes and then after the two minutes you go ahead and check your oil like how you see me check it if it need more you add it if it's good then you close your hood and you're good to go please go ahead like comment share subscribe to the channel peace out so everything is all good also you want to check for leak there's no leak that's it peace out